Salut and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Valentin, and thank you for watching my previous videos. So for today, it's about a day in my life. So you're gonna know more about myself. And uh, this morning, I have a casting call, so I'm gonna show you some exercise that I do before uh, casting. And um, I'm gonna now show you my morning routine that I did two years ago. It's on my Instagram. You can see a lot of acting videos on my Instagram, TikTok, and of course here on YouTube. I'm gonna put the link down below and yeah, let's go. Before we start, I want to say I was thick that day. Just a cold, don't worry. And that's why you are going to see me with different clothes, so enjoy. Bonjour tout le monde, je viens de me réveiller, j'ai décidé de vous faire ma routine du matin. Donc je commence toujours par aller aux toilettes, ensuite je vais prendre mon petit déjeuner. Ce que je préfère c'est la pizza froide et un bon verre d'eau. Et quand j'en ai pas, je n'ai pas ça, donc je prends un gâteau, une compote, euh, voilà. Et maintenant on va se retrouver dans la salle de bain pour mes petits secrets. Ha Nous voici dans la salle de bain et je vais vous montrer mes petits secrets. Donc... Pour me brosser les dents, j'utilise du Tic Tac Coca pour la caféine et on sait que le Tic Tac, ça fait sentir bon de la laine. Hop, bain de bouche. Cache à ça. Parce que c'est bien pour les, bact les bactéries, tout ça. Et ça réveille. Wow. Wow. Et voilà. Et après, je prends ma douche et non, je ne vais pas vous montrer ça. Bande de petits coquins. I start with some meditation and breathing exercise and I think about what I want for the day. I want to feel good, better and peaceful. After that I do what I learned in a workshop last year. It was a musical one. It was so great. Now, the pen exercise is one of my favorites. Ma me mi bo mi. Les chaussettes de l'archiduchesse sont-elles sèches? Archi sèches? Les chaussettes de l'archiduchesse sont-elles sèches? Archi sèches? Yes. <laughs> um, and now I'm going to change and do my casting, and I see you the after that. I just finished my casting, I'm so happy. Um, this is my character, I don't feel comfortable in jeans. Um, I'm more a pants guy. Um, yeah. But I'm going to change also my t-shirt because also I'm wearing a lot of shirts. This is Valentin. Valentine that you are going to know more <laughs> and so I'm going to my parents because I'm starving and after that I'm going to show you what else I do for the day I hope it's still interesting um, so yeah thank you I'm at my parents it's the office I didn't film the lunch because I don't think it's that interesting to see me eating. I don't know, maybe you are. Tell me in the comments. <laughs> um, so I'm in the office. It's where I work most of the time. Because it's perfect because we have a second screen. It's perfect for editing. And like a lot of you know, I'm a screenwriter. So it's perfect. Now I'm going to tell you the story behind why I am an actor and a screenwriter. It was the first time that I went to movie theater. I was three or four years old. We went to watch Aladdin. It was at Le Grand Rex. Le Grand Rex is one of the biggest movie cinema, uh, theater sorry, in the world. And it was magical. It's like 
love at the first sight I knew at the moment we arrived it was meant to be it was that I wanted to be I wanted to work in the cinema you know when you are a kid you you are like what do you want to be later and for me it was cinema after that thanks to my family I watched a lot of movies but also TV shows and that made me use my imagination a lot um, for example with my friends and my sister we created games from movies or TV shows that we loved and in creating I was wow I need to do that I need to create uh, an episode of Buffy the Vampire Slayer I'm from the 90s so we had a lot of TV shows like Charmed, Buffy the Vampire Slayer uh, it was scary and I started to like horror movies and I wanted to watch a lot but I wasn't allowed to watch but I did like when I was eight I wake up um, in the night to watch Friday the 13th and it was scary and I get scared but I was in my mind oh it's okay Buffy the vampire slayer will protect me and so I didn't have nightmare and with Buffy I big surprise I was a big fan of Sarah Rishigala and I wanted to watch the two horror movies that she did in the 90s I know what she did last summer and Scream 2 uh, the first one I could watch the beginning and for Scream 2 I was allowed to watch the whole movies and I really like it it was um, it was a good scare it was well written and and I knew I wanted to write horror movies for Sarah Michelle Gellar actually and since then I write horror movies now not so much it was in middle school that I started to write by doing an exercise it was to rewrite movies that I watch like that I learned how to write a scene create a character the character usually was someone that I know it was in high school where I started to write my original stories then I went to college where I had one of my favorite classes scenario there thanks to my teacher and my friends they gave me good critics and they gave me so much confidence about my work I really enjoyed writing I was happy um, I learned so much about the critics that I received and yeah it was meant to be again but then I let my fear control my life I didn't go to my dream school but like I said it was supposed to be and I stopped to write but now I write again and I will tell you a bit more about that now I just finished to write two short movies this one I want to develop to create a TV show so first I want to be 
if this short movie can be more than a short movie but it could be a feature film a TV movie or if it's not that it stay as a short movie and I will be happy because I really like my idea now I'm gonna read it and do some correction also I use Highlighters for my characters like that I can know them more because I see people with colors they represent their personalities and yeah it's helped me a lot to do that. The other one I want to do a feature film. The action takes place in South Korea. I chose this country because I watched a lot of movies and drama and I really enjoy and I wanted to try to write something in a foreign country and yeah I, I dream about this story and so uh, right, and now I'm going to read it and I will explain uh, what I do after I write and I will talk about traveling. I love to travel. I was lucky enough to travel at a young age. I was too. I went to Tunisia. Then we did a lot in France and Spain. Um, then at one point in our life something bad happened. Life is short. We started to travel in different countries uh, every year uh, with my grandparents. Um, I think everyone chose uh, at one point a country that they want to be to go. I want to be. They want to go. Uh, it was amazing because for me. Traveling is a journey of self-discovery because I believe that where you are going to it's a learning experience you are going to learn history you're gonna meet people that go is going to teach you um, things that you have in you but you forget that you have that like for example um, one of the most beautiful trip that we did it was in India um, it was the families that taught us a lot and make, make us made us more uh, remember that we have in us like be happy of what you have um, and enjoy life yeah, I, I learned a lot from all my trip and also I love the food. <laughs> yeah. And uh, yeah, oh my god, I want to eat a lot of new. Oh my god. I will tell you now my three dreams destination South Korea, Iceland, and Japan. This year again. I will go to London. Uh, I think I did that every year since 2017 because I did a workshop there for my acting. And um, what I was, what I want, yeah, why I want to go, why I love London is because I feel good. I love the accent. I love the people. And yes, I will, I will tell you something that. I think not a lot of people said I love the food. In Notting Hill, someone made one of the best lemonade. Oh my god, I can't wait to go there to drink there. And I think it's my vibe. I think I'm English. In my head, I'm English, okay? And I have an English accent. I don't have a French accent, okay? And I need to learn to do. 
English like Sanskrit. So yeah. So now um, uh, I will tell you about my how I write. After finishing putting ideas or finishing a script or even when I start um, thinking about uh, new ideas, um, I take a break. But more often, it's my brain who needs break. <laughs> and I usually play video games. But sometimes I go for a walk to buy some candies because I'm a sweet guy. <laughs> Um, my favorite one are the Aribo Sherry one, but also Milky Way, but we don't have that here. So I have to go to Paris or to Amazon to buy. And I think I'm going to do that. Um, yeah, and now I will tell you how I start a script. So see ya. Now I will tell you how I write. Um, it's always because of my dreams. I. This is what I do. I think about a theme of a movie that I like, or an actor, or a character. Or it's something that I want to write, like um, an emotion. Uh, personality, something like that, and then before sleeping, I think about all of this, and then I dream about that, and in the morning, I always have paper and pen next to me, so I write everything, and And I think of that uh, all day long and sometimes it could be only five minutes and I start to write and I always dream about what I write to until I, I'm happy with that and yeah, this is uh, what I do and maybe a lot of people, people do the same way or different ways, but yeah, if you want to start writing, maybe my way is a good idea for you, it can help a lot. So yeah, now I'm going to talk about something else. Um, let me think about that. Um, Yeah, you are going to see me thinking about what I want to tell you. Um, hey, oh, Valentin, listen, you are stupid. It's me, the future you. You forgot to talk about acting, come on, you stupid. Think from the future, um, while I editing, I realized that I didn't talk about why I am an actor, what I choose to be one. At first, I didn't want to be an actor. I was scared. I was shy. I didn't have any confidence to be one. But deep inside, I knew I wanted to be one because I really enjoy to be different characters. And after college, I wanted to be, uh, well, I want to be a screenwriter, of course. Uh, I wanted to go to um, uh, writing school, but I was not confident at all. I was letting my fear to control my life. So um, I needed to think about what I really want and at one point my parents told me you, sh you should do some workshop and see what you like and they talked about uh, being an actor and I was oh, okay yeah why not 
um, I could see where he goes. I went to Acting International. For two days, I learned how to act. And it was great. I discovered something new about me. I was happy. And I discovered that I like being different characters because I learn from them and they learn from me and it's a communication, a trust between myself and the character who look like me but is not me <laughs> and um, yeah that's why I do that I really don't know but yeah and when I'm acting I don't know if I'm good right away but I, I give it my all I I love I love that I love being in front of camera and play a character from the imagination from someone else and or myself because I want to act in my script and yeah I really enjoy and I have so much fun now I'm going home my future apartment who is where my parents are is not ready yet when I live there I will show you everything I probably also show my shirts collection um so uh now so now i'm going home i just watched a movie that i will talk when i will be home and yeah it's really cool tonight i have only 10 minutes to walk so it's good but my hands are really cold <laughs> now i'm in my bed I will watch some YouTube videos. Uh, oh, I messed up. I didn't watch a movie. It was a TV show. The Dropout. I watched the two first episodes. Um, this is really great. I'm amazed by Amanda Seyfried's um, performance. She's really great. I can't wait to see the next episodes um, and now so I'm going to watch some uh, YouTube videos so sorry I have a I forget what I, w I wanted to say so some YouTube videos um, the Nerdcrawler did a video about Elizabeth Holmes if you want to see uh, it's really great um, and I will be on Discord and maybe Instagram <laughs> also um, so this is what I do every day almost because some day it change I can be in Paris I can be with my nephews um, so yeah so I have a wonderful week a wonderful day a wonderful night everything you want I'll see you soon and thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and comment if you want to know more about me because I probably forget things <laughs> about myself but um, thank you so much and I really appreciate you. So thank you. Bye bye. Au revoir.